It's a very good afternoon from Jallianwala Bag in Amritsar or Amritsar as it's known by the locals. I'm actually in Jallianwala Bag, which I've done a vlog actually late last year, and also at the grave of uh, Sir Michael O'Dwyer talking about the Jallianwala Bag massacre. And uh, this is the actual park, the bag where the uh, massacre was conducted, where over a thousand people died and it looks a lot different to what it did in 1919 and to be honest when I last came here they were doing this up actually and prior to that my visits it pretty much looked like it did in 1919 so it's a big change to what it used to be with a memorial here now that stands and they've actually made this park into something that's visited by a lot of tourists i guess when i first saw it i didn't like the idea because it was nice it being maintained in the style that it was in 1919 but i guess you've got to move on and this is actually a park for the locals but what they've done is they've managed to have a memorial as well and they've kept a lot of the things intact which uh, at the time were very significant such as a well in which a lot of people died when they tried to escape the bullets and then jumped into the well thus drowning and i'm just walking up to the well now it was a peaceful and it's just over here and they've actually i remember this actually when it was uncovered and you could actually go up and you could actually uh, you know, you could pretty much, if you wanted to, you could jump in, which is a good thing now, actually, they stopped it because there's enough nutcases around that probably would. But let's have a look. It's a lot of people. I'm not sure how much my... Uh, camera's gonna be able to cover but um, a lot of people fell into the mart as well escaping General Reginald Dyer's bullets there's also a museum as well which I'll go and check out uh, as I'm walking up that way as well and it's good that they've actually kept uh, a museum alive and they've actually done this park up like I said at the beginning, I was a bit against it. I thought, leave it in the style that it was. If anyone's been to the Lucknow residency, that actually looks like at the time of the siege and they haven't actually done anything to it. In fact, it probably looks worse now. And um, this I thought would look better if it was kept in the same way. But I think seeing it now, seeing the memorial and seeing that this is a place where locals can come, tourists can come, but they've maintained the uh, the essence of it, the bullet marks, the well. Look, look more people prancing around, jumping around, taking photos and selfies. They're gonna get told, hopefully they're gonna get told off. There's a guard coming, but he's, he's gone the other way now. I was hoping he's gonna tell them off, but he's not. There's actually a sign here saying that the bullet was fired at the people from here. So that's where the alleyway is, that's where the uh, military came through, Reg Reginald Dyer came through that alleyway where it says no exit here, that's where I walked through in the beginning. But this is where all the, uh, the artillery was stationed and you could see which, which way the bullets are going, how far the ammunition went and just how many people it targeted and killed. It's shocking just thinking about it. You know, I haven't been here for a few years, but every time I do come here, it just reminds you of that past. Inside there is actually a museum that's dedicated to 
freedom fighters and just what happened here, the resistance. There's also a theatre as well. I'm not allowed to take the camera up there, so I'll go in uh, without the camera. I'm, I don't want to do anything that's against the rules here. This is actually a memorial uh, site because a lot of people did die here. And uh, just seeing what's this way as well. Every, everywhere you walk, there seems to be something different. Gallery 2, it says here. So let's see what Gallery 2 is. It's got to be something here. But you can see there's people's um, accommodation all around actually this uh, garden, this bog, the Jallianwala bog. So a lot of locals used to come here and still do come here because um, space is at a premium actually in most cities, but here was this is where they used to congregate and gather and get together. another celebration, another guide as to the uh, axe that went here, specifically about the, Ra the Raula axe as well. But they're talking about, I mentioned some of it actually when I was at the uh, Bhagat Singh house. I'll have to come in actually when it's less empty because there was a kid running around and the, uh, the dad was getting angry. But a lot more, a lot more here to see. So I've got um, survivors accounts as well. These are survivors accounts so we've got a Wazir Ali age between 35 and 36 we've got Amin Chand as well we've got a uh, Ratan Devi as well the picture of her there as well and we've got uh, the statement of Sardar Arjun Singh son of Sardar Hakim Singh Aluwalia age 31 shopkeeper so a lot of eyewitness accounts as well of the survivors and those that helped and if you haven't seen any film to do with um, this uh, incident, watch um, the Vicky Koshal film, Sardar Udham. It's probably the best one because it encapsulates exactly what happened that day. And actually the, the shooting is probably, it probably rivals Saving Private Ryan, the way that, the sort of detail that that went into um, for the, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to say actually for the, um, for the killings that took place. Uh, to watch that actually is quite shocking. Uh, you get a, a good idea, a good uh, glimpse as to what happened, how people were killed. You know, kill, you know, a lot of the films make it look very, very natural, very easy, as if um, getting killed is something easy. But actually they've, they've picturized it in a very, very, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a I, I reckon they have a testament to their skill actually in uh, in getting that graphic detail it's uh i've seen the scenes a few times and if you haven't seen it do watch it if you're of a bit of a nervous disposition i'd say fast forward it but uh if you're into the history of this place then uh watch that film there are a number of films actually but that's the best one by far there is actually an eternal flame as well to the uh those that died in this incident and uh, just over here another gallery as well lots of galleries here this is one thing that I think that they've done reasonably well actually in um, having a lot of galleries here a lot of icons to do with uh, the nationalist movement so this is what Udham Singh said, the statement that he made. I do not care about the sentence of death. It means nothing at all. I do not care about dying or anything. We are suffering from the British Empire. I'm not afraid to die. I am proud to die. This statement was, was made by Sadat Udham Singh, a.k.a. Muhammad Singh Azad, and being sentenced to death by the court in London for killing Michael O'Dwyer. So yeah, that's the statement that he made wasn't having any nonsense was he a lot of a uh, lot, lot of noise I've got to get away from the noise because uh, 
it's, um, it's one thing about filming. A lot of people uh, call you out. And uh, wave at you. There's a couple there that just waved. And then. Just want to capture one final shot of Jallianwala Bark from near the exit. And to be honest, I think they've done a wonderful job in bringing this up to modern standards, but also maintaining the essence of what happened here. And on that fateful day in uh, 1919, where under the orders of Sir Michael O'Dwyer and then Reginald Dyer, open fire on unarmed protesters ended up killing probably close to a thousand if not more innocent people unarmed so from Jallianwala Bagh it's goodbye <laughs>